Okay, so on this question, they're giving us two equations with two letters and we wanna solve. So uh, let, me, let me bring them over here. Well, actually, let me, let me just look at them right as, as they sit. So looking at these, if, if I was to add here, what, let, me, let me show you this. Don't, don't write this down, this won't work, but it's instructive nonetheless. If I was to add these right now, it wouldn't work. What do I mean it wouldn't work? Well, let me show you. So don't, again, this is not gonna work. Don't write this down, but, but watch, it's instructive. If you were to add these, right? So um, minus 4x and minus 2x. Just think about money, right? Positives are gain, negatives are loss. If you lose $4 and lose $2, what, where's your bank account? You lost $6, right? And over here, add these up. Uh, two and six is eight. Why? Then over here, you should calculate if you need to. Docs for my upcoming two, appointment on Wednesday. Minus six. What's, so what's that going to be? And um, did you know that's that's going to be um, 22 minus six, uh, 16. So, okay, so that did not work. Now, what do I mean that that did not work? Well, we added them. What's my problem? My problem is nothing eliminated. This is called, they're telling me to use the addition, also called elimination method, meaning that when you add them, something is supposed to eliminate. Something's supposed to cancel out like the X's should go away or the Y's, not both, but you know you want one of them to drop out and nobody dropped out. I still got X, I still got Y. This isn't good. Why, why is this so terrible? Well, how can I possibly solve for X or Y when they're both still there? It's not gonna work, right? I, I, need, to, I need to get down to only one letter, don't I? I need one of the letters to drop out so that I only have one letter and can solve for it. So this is just not gonna work. Not, but I, but I gotta make a change. So what, what do you do then? Well, you've gotta make it so that when you add them up, one of the letters drops out. It doesn't really matter which letter, just get somebody to drop out. You can focus your attention on the um, X's or the Y's, it doesn't matter. So how about the Y? I'll just look at the Y's. What can I do? to get them to drop out. Well, if I could make this one up here a minus 6y, make it the opposite then of, of 6y, then when I added them, they, the y's would drop out, right? So that's that's the first step. Uh, what, what, Mr. What, what, Heron, I have one question real quick. Okay. Now, now, because we have to add these equations in the end together, is when we do something to the first equation, do we have to do it to the second equation or no? No, good question. All we have to, good question. What we have to keep in mind is whenever you mess with one of the equations, you have to do the same thing to both sides of just that equation. Because, because it's a statement of equality, right? Like this right here, it's a good question. This right here, minus four X plus three, uh, plus two Y equals negative six. That's a statement of equality, meaning this left side equals this right side. So whatever I do to the left side of an equal sign, I must also do to the right side of that same equal sign. Now, it doesn't mean I have to do anything to the other equation. In fact, I won't because the other equation is a totally separate statement of equality. So, so good question. Just, just the left and the right, same thing to one equation. That's all you have to do. All right, yeah, and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this first equation and I'm gonna multiply by three. How did I choose three? Because I know when I go three there and three there and three there, right? You have to do both sides of the equation. See what that first equation will become? That'll be minus 12x, right? Three times negative four plus 6y equals three times minus six minus 18. Now the second equation, no change. I'm not gonna do anything because I don't have to. It's, it's its own separate statement of equality. Oh, wait a minute, I blew it. That should have been minus three. Yeah, well, you see how it's here. Let me, let me show you why I need to change it. See, right now, I didn't quite do it. See, I wanted to make these guys opposites. But in fact, I made them exactly the same. So let me go back. I just changed this to minus three. So that'll make this plus 12x. That'll now make this minus 6y. This will make this plus 18. Now, they're opposites. So that when I, now my next step, when I add them, 
um, they will eliminate, they'll be zero. All right, so let me write what we're doing. Let me make sure this is clear. Multiply both sides of one equation to make either the x's or the y's opposites. Either the x's or the y's opposites. Everybody see what I did there? I looked at this 2y and 6y and I thought, I'm going to make those opposites. Why? Because that way, when I add them, they'll drop out. So I made 6y and minus 6y. I made them opposites by multiplying that top equation by negative 3. Now you say, well, could you have done the x's? I said, totally. I could have looked at this negative 2x. So you know what? If I multiply him by negative 2, negative 2 times negative 2 would make him plus 4x, which is the opposite of the other one. And that would have worked also. So it doesn't matter. Do either do the X's or do the Y's. It doesn't matter. Just make somebody opposites before you add them. Before you add them. Make some, and the, and the set other equation that you don't mess with stays the same. You don't, right? One equation, we, we multiply both sides, left side and right side, right? That's the property of equality. If two things are equal and you do the same thing to both of them, they're still going to be equal. So in that top equation, the left side and the right side were equal. So when I multiplied negative three on the left side and negative three on the right side, they're still equal. The second equation didn't, didn't mess with it at all. And now add them up. And now nice things will happen. So let's add these up. 12X minus 2X is what? 10X. Like I said, the Ys cancel, which is beautiful. And 22 and 18, what's that? 40, huh? So now, so now this is just, the, the zero is just gone. So now we have only X. Awesome, we can solve for X divided by 10. That's, that's the secret of how this works. You get one of the letters to, to eliminate. That's why it's called the elimination method, by adding them up. And, and, and you, but you first have to make them opposites. You first multiply both sides of one of the equations to make either the X's or the Y's opposites. <clears throat> I made the Y's opposites. I could have made the X's opposites. It doesn't matter. Now I've got X, you know what to do from here. Once you've got one letter, let's bring it over here. <clears throat> plug in x equals four to either to either equation. It doesn't really matter. It'll work in either one. So I'll just I'll just grab this one right here and grab it and uh, bring it down. So we've got um, <clears throat> minus two x. So oh, that's where I'm plugging in four huh? plus six y is twenty two. And so I'm going to grab that right there and plug in four right there. So I'm plugging in the X. Let's see what happens. Minus eight plus six one is 22. <clears throat> Add eight to both sides. Boom, boom. Six Y is 30. Divide by six. Y is five. So we got X, we got Y, four comma five. So click this box, four comma. Got to put parentheses around them with a comma. All right, so let me recap one more time. What just happened here? Um, you have to multiply both sides of one of the equations to make either the X's or Y's opposites. I could have multiplied the bottom. You can do the top equation or the bottom. It doesn't matter. Do whatever it takes to make either the X's or the Y's opposites. I could have multiplied this bottom equation by negative two all the way across, because that would have made negative two times negative two plus four x. So it would have made this plus four x, which is the opposite of minus four x, and that would have worked. Instead, I did the top equation all the way through both sides, left and right, by negative three. That made this negative six y and positive six y. They were opposites and they eliminated. So you got to make them opposites. Then the x is added, the numbers added. I had only x, I could solve for x, then plug into either equation to find y. There we go.